Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Ian Yarwood and I'm a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. In the coming days I intend to publish a short video, a short video about a Japanese scuba student who reportedly died after taking part in a snorkel test which looks something like this and it involves uh, pouring of uh, alcoholic drinks down snorkels into the mouthpieces of students who've simply uh, or recently passed a uh, some sort of a scuba test. I understand that his name was Hiro and H-I-R-O and I also uh, will be mentioning a Japanese woman who was uh, reportedly murdered sometime between June of 1997 and April of 1998. But look, for now let's uh, jump into this video which is all about Charlene, also known as Yoshi Sazawa. And uh, this is a picture of her here, of course, and this is the thumbnail uh, on the first of three videos that I've published in the last six days about her. And um, as I've mentioned in those three videos, her death uh, comes across as having been uh, quite suspicious. Now, Charlene's death had been something of a secret uh, that few people outside Ko Tao knew about. And as you might expect, uh, my three videos triggered a series of very hostile and visceral responses uh, from many Ko Tao apologists. Now, some of them denied that the Japanese instructor had um, actually died on the island. Uh, some expressed the view that it was outrageous that her death should be um, discussed or brought up by me on the basis that it occurred 17 years ago and therefore everyone should just forget about it. Another response came from the Royal Thai Police. A few days ago, back on Tuesday the 16th of November 2021, at least three Thai news services quoted police sources as saying that a Japanese national did in fact die in early 2004 and that police concluded that it was a suicide. My own videos didn't make it very clear at the time that um, the police had already dismissed that tragedy as a suicide. And these are the three, or well, these are the names of the three uh, Thai news services. And I'll put links to these in the description below, or at least links to those articles. Now the police uh, also did attack the motives behind this YouTube channel and also the motives behind my Facebook page which is known as Koh Tao Death Island. And the police also reminded readers that, quote, the people of Koh Tao have filed an arrest warrant against the creator of a Facebook page attacking Koh Tao who fled abroad and prosecuted some Thai people who shared and defamed Ko Tao as well. Now I can tell you that they're not actually referring to me but they were referring to a Thai man who has subsequently taken out US citizenship but his name was uh, Pramuk um, Anantasan. I hope I pronounced your uh, name correctly and he's also known as David and he uh, is the administrator of CSI LA which has over a million followers so he's quite influential. And as I mentioned, David did not actually flee overseas. He was already living in California and he is a US citizen, but the Thai police, of course, don't like the facts to get in the way of a good story. Previously, I received conflicting reports that Charlene's body had been discovered either on the ground in the jungle or behind her house or hanging from a tree with a wound to her chest. Now, the police uh, have announced another version uh, being that her body was f actually found in her house and uh, unless uh, Google Translate made a significant error that is what they were saying in the article. Now uh, the police also suggested that Charlene had left a suicide note or something akin to a suicide note which is a claim I had not uh, previously read or even heard about. And I gather from the reports that no autopsy was performed and that the police merely chose to assume that she committed suicide and those of you who follow my channel would be aware that the uh, Thai police or the Thai police and the Thai government uh, do not have uh, any coroners so a lot of deaths really are not uh, investigated properly um, 
and uh, yeah, I gather that uh, no autopsy was performed and that the uh, police simply assumed that she committed suicide or they chose to assume that very conveniently, which is one of the two things that uh, the Thai police frequently do. They'll either say it was a suicide or it was an accident, even if uh, there are many facts uh, pointing to suspicious circumstances. They just like to close the file. And the articles refer to a very curious explanation of quote, suicide by stress, unquote, whatever that means. That's it for this video. If you thought it was all at all um, interesting or helpful, or if you'd like other people to see it, please do give it a thumbs up. I look forward to reading all of your constructive comments below. I do get a lot of very foolish comments from uh, from Kotao apologists and so forth. Um, so, but I always look forward to reading the constructive comments. And uh, if you wish to subscribe, please go ahead and do so. I always look forward to having new subscribers. And in the meantime, in the meantime, please stay safe. Bye for now.